Hello and welcome. Today I want to talk about four micro EDC tools that I've been using for a while and why I use them and why I recommend them. First up on the left here is the Leatherman Squirt P4. This is a plier based multi-tool. It's got a spring assisted plier head here as you can see and has a wire cutter there and the spray right there. We have a regular pliers right here in the center and a sort of needle nose plier at the head here. On the sides here we have some tools. We have a small screwdriver and on this end we have an awl. It's more of a poker, it's not too sharp but it does make good holes. And finally we have the Phillips head screwdriver or a small flathead one if you want to use it for that. And then on this side we have the bigger flathead screwdriver which has a bottle opener here. On the other side we have a file, we have a fine grain file and a coarse grain with cross hatching here. And then on this side we have the main blade. This is a good tool because I found myself needing a small set of plier heads for a lot of things to get into spaces that big plier heads wouldn't get into and this does come in handy for that. And you can also use these on an angle to get splinters out and other things like that. And that is the Leatherman Squirt P4. Next we have the Leatherman Micra. This is a, another multi-tool which I use on my keychain. On the sides here we have measurements for both inches and centimeters. And this one is a scissor based plier type of uh, multi-tool, meaning it doesn't have actual pliers, it just has a scissor for the head here. On the inside here we have a pair of tweezers, then we have the Phillips head screwdriver, and then we have a combo tool which is a small flathead screwdriver and a bottom opener here. On this side we have the knife a flathead screwdriver that's a little bit more stronger and then we have the file here with a little hook for getting to places that a poker can get into as well and that is a Leatherman Micra it's one of my most common tools I have in my EDC kits I do recommend them because they're inexpensive and they do offer a lot of utility for such a small tool and the first thing I usually go for is a pair of scissors in my daily EDC. Next up is another favorite of mine. This is the Victorinox Swiss Army Mini Champ, Midnight Mini Champ to be specific. And the reason why it's called the Midnight Mini Champ is that it has a light in it. And it also has a pen in it, which are two items that I use for daily EDC needs. Starting on this side of the scales, we have the main blade. It's a decent blade, it cuts very well. It's very sharp, high quality metal. And we have the combo 3D screwdriver tool. I use this one quite a lot for small things when I'm working on electronics. We have a wire bender here and a bottle opener. And this is magnetized as well. And then last but not least on this side of the scales, we have some scissors, very fine cutting scissors, which are good for very fine materials and fine cutting. Very sharp, very precise. And the replaceable spring here. On this side we have a cuticle pusher for your nails, but I use this as a scooper, a pry, lightweight pry, pry bar, uh, and just a screwdriver sometimes. Next up we have the ruler and a flathead screwdriver at the tip. We have both centimeter and inches in the ruler. Moving along we have the box opener. This is good for orange peeling and cutting open boxes. I use this one quite a lot. And then next to it we have the sheep's blade knife. It's a little bit thinner than the main blade, but it comes in handy as a backup blade or a sharper blade for precision cutting. Then finally we have the file and the poker here. 
and then I have my own custom lanyard with a for right bar on it. And that is the Midnight Mini Champ. I do recommend this if anyone's looking for a combo tool that does writing in the backup sense, lighting in the backup sense, and cutting as well. So I get three for one in this setting here for the Victorinox Swiss Army Midnight Mini Champ. Last but not least is the Gerber Dime. Uh, this was a recent purchase. I haven't used it too much yet, but it is a plier based multi tool as well. We have the plier heads here, regular pliers, needle nose type pliers, and we also have a cutting implementation, implementation down there for wires potentially, and it's spring loaded too as well. On the outside, this does feature a pair of tweezers. And we also have a bottle opener here. On this end, we have a pair of scissors, which are also spring loaded. And on this end, we have a box opener as well. Sharp on the tip here and easily accessible. On this side, we have the main blade. On this side, we have a Phillips head screwdriver combo, which is a fine, not a fine, but a coarse grain file and a coarse hatch file on this side. Very, very small. Not sure about its practicality, but it's good to have it on the tool at least. And then on this side, we have a flat head screwdriver, a little bit thicker one. And that is it for the uh, Gerber Dime. I like this because it is a relatively inexpensive plier head based multi-tool compared to say some of the Leathermans that are out there, particularly the uh, Squirt P4. And what I'll do is I'll take my plier based tools like these two, I'll combine it with a, another bigger multi-tool and I have two sets of plier heads to work with, albeit for lightweight duty work. Now I've been using these for quite some time now and with the exception of the Gerber and they all have a good function, especially the Midnight Mini Champ. This I've used in the dark, I've used the pen, I've used the cutting tool, especially the box opener, orange peeler. It's one of my most used tools on it, besides the scissors. I think these are all fantastic micro EDC tools. If you're looking to get a tool, I would recommend any one of these. If you're looking for a budget option, more expensive option that covers three areas, a semi-expensive option that has a plier head base as opposed to scissors, and an inexpensive version that comes with scissors as a main tool. And those are the primary differences between all these here. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that, and take care.